Hello, welcome back to Drama Club. Can you remember our rules? Here they are. We respect our fellow actors. We respect the drama area. To start with, we're going to do a drama game. It's a bit like musical statues. This is going to be based on Greek gods and goddesses. Now, let's begin. Okay, so when the music stops, you have to perform just like a god or a goddess. I'm going to show you what I mean. So the first god is Zeus and he controlled thunder. So you've got to stretch up your arms and stretch up your hands and make it thunder. The second god is Poseidon and he controlled the waves in the sea. So we're going to roll our arms like this. Our third is the goddess Athena and she was very wise, just like an owl. So we're going to put our hands like this and pretend that we are an owl. We are just like Athena. We are very wise. Our fourth god is Apollo and he was the god of the arts and music. So we're going to pretend to play a harp. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to put the music on. And when I shout the name of a god or a goddess, you have to act like them. Are you ready? Here we go. Zeus! Stretch your arms out and your hands. Creating the thunder. Fantastic. Here we go again. Poseidon! Roll those waves. Here we go again. Athena! Get your hands to go like this. You are making our eyes. Can you see around the room? Are you very wise? Just like Athena. Okay, this is good. Apollo! Are you playing your harp? Alright, here we go again. Now I am going to shout them out in random order and see if you can remember what to do. Are you ready? Here's music. I'm not going to dance this time. You're going to dance. Come on, get up and dance. Come on! Yeah! That's fantastic! Yes, he plays his harp. Okay, here's the music again. Come on, see you move your arms. Lift up your legs. Athena. Yes, that's right. We're going to look around like an owl. Very wise owl. Here's the music again. Yes, really good at dancing. Zeus. Oh yeah, can you remember which one that was? Yes, lightning. Brilliant. Here we go again. Apollo. Aha, you thought I was going to say something else. Play that harp. Very good. Keep dancing. Zeus. Yes. like a wise owl. Here's music again. Poseidon. Yes, I bet you thought I'd forgot that one. Very good. And BAFTA, that means stop. Today's session is all about ancient Greece. About 2,500 years ago, outside theatre was really important to the ancient Greeks. They had many playwriters. They either wrote about comedy, satire or tragedy. In the time of ancient Greece, the audience would sit on stone seats and look down onto the stage. In front of the stage 
was a group of young men known as the Chorus. They wore brightly coloured clothes depicting animals. They also wore big masks on their face. The chorus would sing to the audience, telling them elements of the play. On stage, the actors would also wear masks depicting the characters they were playing. Now, the chorus, as well as the actors, were all men. Ladies and girls were not allowed to act. It was forbidden. Now, where have we seen that before? Many of the plays from ancient Greece have been written over and over again throughout the years and are performed on stage even to this day. Some of them have been made into films. Their stories were about gods and goddesses, even Greek mythology. One of the plays was about a woman called Medusa. Athena, the goddess, was so angry with her that she turned her hair into snakes. And she said that anybody who looked at Medusa would turn to stone. I'm going to write my own version of Medusa and I'm going to set the play in modern times, which means I'm going to set the play now. Perhaps you could write your own play. I've finished. I'm going to perform my play now. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who have not been to my channel before, where have you been? No, seriously guys, uh, my name is Medusa and I'm fabulous. As you can see, I'm also amazing. Do you like my hair? It's ruby red. Don't I look amazing? Alec, what do you think? Yeah, I know what you're thinking, guys. What are you doing today, beautiful Medusa? Well, I'm at this stuffy museum with my best friend, Alec. Look over here, Medusa. Can you see that big picture of Athena? Doesn't she look beautiful? Beautiful? Has she got one million viewers on Instagram? Oh, I don't think she has. Or well, thousands of people following her on Facebook. No, but she does have hundreds of visitors every day. I've got millions of followers. My TikTok videos have gone viral. Oh, wow. Her statue is even more beautiful. Where? On that plinth. Athena is the goddess of wisdom. If Athena was wise, she wouldn't be on that plinth. She'd be making TikTok videos like me. She wouldn't get as many followers though. I don't think you should say things like that. You might anger her. Where are you going, Alec? I'm leaving before Athena loses it. Well, all I can say, guys, is I'm more beautiful than Athena. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So you think you are more beautiful than a goddess? Who said that? I did. I am the goddess Athena, and I heard every word you said. You're not going to believe it, guys, but Athena has heard all about my beauty, and she wants to give me a gift. If that is what you want. What's going on? I'm sorry, guys, but Medusa won't be making any more vlogs. Because one look at her face, and you were all turn to stone. And now for the hair. What have you done to my hair? Don't forget to unlike and unsubscribe. Did you like my play? Perhaps you could write your own play. You could write your own play about a mythical Greek legend. Perhaps you could write about Pegasus, the winged horse, or Cyclops, the monster with one big eye. 
You might even want to make an ancient Greek mask, just like the ones that the actors wore on stage. I'll see you next time.